Okay, next we're going to move on to picture framing. I'm sure everybody's seen picture framing to some degree. Uh, there's actually, to me, there's a couple of different kinds of, uh, of picture framing. I think the most common you'll see if you have a, a flat type part, you will see thick film build around the edges. Uh, it's so noticeable that it looks like there is a frame around that edge, hence the name picture framing. Uh, it can be heavy orange peel in those areas. Uh, it can be almost a, a look of wanting to to sag, but not really a sag, just kind of like it, it, it humps up a little bit on those edges. Uh, so there's a couple reasons for that. Uh, the first reason is probably most common is just too much film thickness. Uh, that can be caused for a couple of reasons. It can be you have too much voltage uh, along with too much powder supply and, and those edges will always build heavier than the center of the part. So you get that heavy edge build, you run it through the oven and cure, and you see a difference in the look around the, the, the outside edges. Another time that we see picture framing, uh, if you have a product that has a lot of flow to it, uh, we will see if you have an area where you have holes punched in the part, uh, you'll see where the, the once it cures, it looks like the powder is wanting to, to move or almost sag around each of those holes or, or indentions or whatever. And, and a lot of times that's because of so much flow in the part, you get that little extra film build and once it gets in the gel state, it wants to move away from that edge. We all know we have edge pull with, with, with powder coat. So that's probably the two most common ways of seeing it. Uh, one thing that might help, obviously, if you have a lot of heavy film built on the edges, my first recommendation would be to turn your KV down and turn your powder flow down. If you don't have enough film built everywhere else and you can't turn the powder flow down, then obviously turn the KV or even the microamps down so you're not building so heavy in, in some of those easier to cope places. Uh, and then, you know, another thing we see people do a lot of times uh, is they make a rack, you know, with, with what we would call a robber bar, uh, basically a bar or a surface right behind those edges. So that excess powder, instead of building on that edge, some of that excess powder will will go to that bar and keep it from building too heavy on the edges. So that's quite common for people that have, you know, class A surfaces that that really can't afford to have any difference in look and they run the same parts on a regular basis. They're able to build those racks with a with a robber bar in place and uh, and take out some of the instances of, of causing picture frame. 